In this video, we are going to see how to create records using a simple lightning component. I'm planning to go over step-by-step -step instructions uh, to do that. In our last video, we saw how to display uh, records using lightning component. I'm giving uh, the link for that video in the description. If you haven't checked that, please check it out. Let's go ahead and uh, start this requirement. For that, we need to create uh, a class first so go to your developer console and create a new apex class and name it as create we have created a class create contact class which is having our enable method create contact here we are creating object called contact object this is expecting a contact record as a parameter so here it is inserting the record and returning the contact object id here here we need to know that like if we want to uh, invoke any method from apex class to the lightning component then that method should be aura enabled so that's the reason we are using this aura enabled here since we are going to use this class in our lightning component now let's create a lightning component um, I'm going to name this as contact record creation. Here, first we need to invoke our Apex class that we have created already here by using the controller attribute. Done. to work with object we have to define an attribute with the specific object type along with the default values so here uh, we have defined an attribute with the name contact object and the type is contact and the default values are the first name last name and the phone number here you can add whatever the fields that you wanted to add. Here I'm going to add another attribute to save the contact ID when it is returned. And then here I am using lightning input for accepting the input values from the lightning component. Here, V is the value provider and contact object is an attribute. So here, it's an attribute of first name, last name, and the phone number. So you can give you a label and just these are the placeholders. And then we have to add the lightning button. So once all the uh, details are entered in our form, uh, we need to have a button. Uh, for saving the record so this button like this on click it will call this do save method so we have to define this do save method in our controller in the right side so click on controller to create a new okay so we have to change our name as do save and save it in this two. And then here we need to start invoking the method and setting the parameter and get the returning value. For that, first we need to define the action. Here create contact is our method name. Then we have to set the parameter by using set param method. 
here we are assigning the contact object from our lightning component then we are setting the callback method here and then after getting the value here after getting the value we have to return it to our contact id in the lightning component that we have created so after you have done all these things we have to add our execute action so for that you need to add dollar a in q action so to execute you have to make sure that this code is added so even if you did all these things without this code this this will not execute now that we have completed our controller and the components let's go ahead and create the application and this name is app and for that you have to add c colon your component h save it and preview okay here we are getting our first name last name and save but we are not getting in our lightning layout right so to add that in our lightning layout so you have to add extends equals force so see here it's auto refreshed and we are seeing the lightning page layout right so we have added force slds here it is like a lightning design system to make our app look like lightning enabled layout so now we have this layout let's see what happens if we add some records here I'm not seeing any message, but let's see whether it is added or not. Okay, we have, yeah, you see here. So new contact has been added, but in our component, it's not displaying any message like success or failure. Let's see how can we do that. Uh, for this, I'm going to move to this component and I'm going to add this div tag. So here I'm just uh, getting my contact ID and it will display like this contact was created. So let's see how it looks like. Let's go to our app, go to preview. So it will be like this. And okay, so contact was created with the ID. Let's go check it out. Okay, we have our new contact, it's created. So also, I wanted to highlight another thing is this lightning design system. So here they are, they have given all the code for this. Like, so if you want to add a checkbox or anything, they have given all the codes here. See, yeah, daytime picker, 
if you scroll down you have a code for that you can just copy paste this code and you can use in your component uh, package so that it will get displayed so they do have multiple things here so i'm going to use few of these tags uh, to look like uh, to beautify my uh, form here it's just like uh, first name last name and these things but i i am going to use few of the components here to make it more uh, attracting okay so i have copied a uh, few of the tags uh, from the lightning design system site and i have included all our forms like first name last name phone and our method we have created do save method so everything i have incorporated uh, in the tags that they have provided so let's see how it going to be uh, i'm going to include all these tags in my component and i'm gonna save this okay let's go to our app and preview it okay so you see uh, the difference right so um, previously we don't have any uh this uh images or this look and feel was not there but it seems like it's working let's see let's create another contact b3 oh save okay cool it was created go to contacts yep it's there so that's it guys um that's all we have completed our requirement uh, we have created a apex class first and then we have created our component and then our js controller file then we have created our app to display uh, the form and with the form we have created our contact um, you, you can just play around with this lightning design system to include any of the tags that you wanted to add in your form so that it will be like more attractive for the users and i'm going to add like if you if at all you need this code for your training purposes just reach out to me i have provided my email in my description you can reach out to me and i can uh, I'll give you the scope that's all guys let's meet in another good video until then stay in home and stay safe take care bye bye